Hey guys, how you doing? So I got a question put to me on YouTube, so let's read it. Hey Uncle Steph, I've been stuck on CS50X for about five months now. Consistency has been up and down. I'm currently on week four and I'm and I'm always getting stuck. I've tried researching and asking around for guidance, yet I continue to struggle. I cheated on one problem on one problem set and saw how different how different what I had versus what I was supposed to do. Any advice? Well, I haven't looked at CS50, but here's some general advice about learning to code. Number one, you got to be patient with yourself because you're you're literally as you're learning to code, you are literally rewiring your brain to think in a totally different way. So this takes time. It's kind of like weightlifting. You got to build up weights. Break time is very important. So you do a little CS50 work, and then what you should do: take a day off, let things percolate, and then do it again. Consistency is very important. So what I teach people is that you got to be writing a little bit of code every day, four to five days a week. Even 20 minutes of writing code, even if you're not exactly sure what you're writing, is still going to push that ball forward. It's going to make some progress. So the key is to be consistent, to give yourself some break time, uh, minimum 20 minutes a day, maximum three to four hours a day. You don't want to burn yourself out. After three to four hours, your cognitive capacity goes like this. And so there's no point almost. So yeah, do that. Make sure you sleep well, drink lots of water. All these factors play a role in terms of whether or not, how easily you're going to learn anything. One of the key tactics of learning anything, coding especially, is you got to get engaged with the code. You got to start writing it on a daily basis. You got to write code. You got to get the tactile going, get that feeling on the keyboard. You got to see the code. You got to see it run make mistakes, fix the mistakes. The more you write code, the more easily the concepts will come to you. Now, when I first started learning how to code back in the early 90s, uh, professionally anyway, I thought for a little bit that I would master the theoretical aspects of code and thus I would be able to implement practically. It's actually the opposite. Through practical application, meaning through writing real code, the concepts become understandable. So you have to go out there, stretch your wings a little bit and uh, go out on a limb, as they say, and you gotta start writing real code as quickly as possible, even simple code. To give you an idea, I do have a mentoring program, shameless self-promotion, and in that program, I have people do the fundamentals. First, they learn how to learn, so we have training on that. Then we have training on the operating systems of your brain, so you understand how your brain works, how the emotions work, and you apply those skills to learning how to code and other things. And then you do the fundamentals of code, which include HTML5, CSS3, Python, SQL databases, uh, did I say JavaScript, and uh, PHP, amongst other things. And it's very practical, it's back and forth. I have my own platform where you watch a short video, you engage with the video, write code, get instant answers back from the system, answer theoretical questions. You know, just with the fundamental courses, there's over well over 300 video lessons and well over a thousand quiz questions. Nobody else comes close. Now, I'm doing this partly to sell you on my program, but also to let you know how that interactivity is so important. Building a course with all a thousand quiz questions is a huge task. It makes it 10 times harder than just laying out a bunch of videos. It's so important though, that I was willing to put in the time and effort to put together uh, all these quiz questions so that students engage with the content. Key is to engage with the content. So you heard my advice, that's what you gotta do. You don't give up. Remember any skill that has value has some hurdles, has some barriers to entries. If it was super easy, then it would not be valuable, right? Uh, being a, you know, mopping a floor, which I did when I was in college, well, not college, when I was a teenager, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, uh, but that's a pretty easy skill. You can learn that in about five minutes where, you know, learning to code, it takes a lot longer, but that's why it's worth a lot more. So if code is harder for you, don't let that distract you. Don't let that, uh, what's the word, dissuade you from the task at hand. See it as a, something that encourages you because... Uh, because it's hard, that means it's valuable. 
And because it's valuable, that means there's more money involved with it. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I do have a boot camp at UncleSteph.com. And it's uh, actually super affordable, super flexible, and it's unique in the world. Check it out. And I also have courses where you can learn on your own, at your own pace, with the interactive training platform that we developed in-house. If you've had trouble learning how to code before, don't worry. Your troubles are over. I am 125% sure that you will learn how to code much more easily than you thought possible, much more quickly with my program because, uh, you know, I've been teaching people for a while.